communication is a true struggle because in today's society, social media offers a debate about masculine women versus submissive women. Now, my take will not necessarily align with the rhetoric that we see online. However, that talk doesn't matter because without emotional intelligence, masculine or feminine behavior will not bring you the successful marriage that you desire. So here we go with my idea about how this really works. I think that masculine versus feminine talk is just garbage, really. The principles of emotional intelligence helps you to recognize and manage your emotions. And at the same time, you are aware of the other person's feelings. In this case, your spouse's emotions. So emotional intelligence allows you to conduct yourself and display behaviors that create a positive result for the both of you. And managing your emotions is not feminine or masculine. So when you communicate with your husband, you're not trying to prove how strong you are or how independent are you are or how you can protect yourself. If these are your first thoughts when you're communicating with your husband, there are some issues or some triggers with your emotions that you haven't addressed yet. Vulnerability means you allow your husband to express himself in communication about your marriage, about the house or the children, without you responding defensively. You don't mistake his difference of opinion as a personal attack on your character. And if things get heated, you are so confident about yourself once you know emotional intelligence that you don't have to go word for word or toe to toe and escalate the talk to an argument. See, vulnerability in communication not only allows your husband to express himself, vulnerability gives you the opportunity to see the situation from his point of view. You don't just react out of your emotions. You know, when my husband and I have a difference of opinion, even though I might get emotional, I pause and I listen, you know, and it might take five minutes or it might take five hours, but I will wait to respond. And I know you might be thinking, girl, please, I would not do that. But let me tell you, a marriage relationship is different. It's different from any other relationship that you have. So the way you respond with your friends, the way you respond with boyfriends, the way you respond with other members of your family, it doesn't match here. In a marriage relationship, this is the ultimate commitment. So you put in the work and you do some things that you might not have seen yourself doing before. See, I can only control myself. I can't make him hear me if we're both attempting to express ourselves right in that moment. So one of us has to listen. So since I can only control myself, I listen, okay? Because the break in the conversation allows the Holy Spirit to advise me and allows me to examine the situation with logic, not with my emotions. Most times when you take the vulnerable approach with your husband, you get the outcome that works for both of you. Not just what works for you, what works for both of you. You may be saying, Davina, what if he's a narcissist? What if he doesn't have the capacity to understand or the capacity to love? Why would I be vulnerable to him if he doesn't act right? Listen, there are levels to vulnerability, but at this point, you should be vulnerable to him because you chose him to be your husband. He's not your boyfriend. You made a commitment to a life of partnership and covenant with this man. Okay, so most of all, the act of vulnerability, though, benefits you. In marriage, your influence on your husband is different from when you were dating. And I'll show you. First Peter 3, 1 through 2 says, Likewise, ye wives, be in subjection to your own husbands, that if any obey not the word, they also may without the word be won by the conversation of the wives while they behold your chaste conversation coupled with fear. And not fear of the husband, but fear of the Lord, fear of the word, meaning reverence to what the Lord says. 
This shows that with vulnerability, a wife can create an environment that encourages open communication and emotional connection.